Hello, good evening. It's about an 8.30 at night video, but you can still see it. This uh, YouTube video is for 2004 Four Winds Chateau Model 31P. Let's see how it looks on the back of it. Oh, it looks pretty good. All right, so the video, as you guys have subscribed to our channel or those who have not, go ahead and subscribe it and put a notification on so when we put new videos, you get to see it. This is just a supplement on top of our pictures. It's got 38,000 miles. It was a trade-in at another dealership. Good motorhome. Got leveling jacks. That is a four to five thousand dollar dollars of upgrade. Let me repeat. That is a HWH hydraulic leveling system, as you can see right under here. There are four legs that come down and deploys and levels the coach up. You hardly ever see that in older Class C motorhomes. Um, Got window awning on the slide out, slide out topper is in good shape. Another window awning on the back bedroom area. All right, so it's got a 4,000 watts generator. I believe it's got like, we'll make sure, I think 300 hours or something. Runs great and powers everything up inside. We got air condition going. It's got some storage under there, such as this. Well, that's a battery compartment and a hydraulic hydraulic uh, pump for the slide out and uh, this is a pass through store check it out you don't see that in a class C also so from top part it goes all the way tires are 2015 or 16 but take a look at it really close no drive cracks good 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 tires lots of trade 38,000 miles okay we paint the bottom part so bottom the champagne part from the bottom of those compartment and then it comes up here, goes here, here, all the way up here. We spent about 1500 bucks, got it painted. But this part is dry cracked. You see it right here, the, the light gray color. It's really oh, sun damage on this side. The other side is in a little bit better shape. No D-Lamb on this side. Maybe some little, but on the other side, we have some D-Lamb. All right, huge compartment here. A previous owner put some nice lock and key that you can't get in you know it's not those 753 that anybody can get in this is a pass-through storage 30 amp power cord comes here outside shower wash bay is right here that's where you hook up your sewer and uh a little lid is broken for coaxial cable that hooks up from we may need to put outside uh, connection another little storage so we painted this side too we're not going to get up on top take a look at my pictures roof is in good shape if you like to paint it you can buy those Dicor uh, rubber paint for about you know 70 80 bucks and paint it it's not that bad but it could now ladder it's a little broken here I'm 170 pound I got up on top Little boo boo right here. I think when they hit this, they broke part of the ladder. The ladder is still, you can still climb if you're 160, 70 pounds. If you're more than that, I wouldn't dare to go up. All right, uh, this is where the little D lamp, okay? But we'll show you inside. There's no water damage inside. This is just a, you know, I hate to say that, but some of these cheaper Class C motorhome has, has their share. Well, you know, I wouldn't say cheaper. Some of the Monaco Signature, high dollar Class A diesel. They get their share of D-Lamb too. If you don't like D-Lamb, don't buy this motorhome. Go buy your new one. That's part of the uh, used motorhome. All right. So right here, pass-through storage. 31P, it may be 31 and a half, 32 feet. So we painted this side too. So all bottom, the clear coat was coming off. It was looking horrible. So we painted this uh, little storage here, more storage here. Yep, it's a water tank there, but you still got... Uh, this side gray is not as badly damaged as the other side. As a matter of fact, no dry cracking. The other side must have been exposed to sun, so this gray area is fine. So this area looks good beside little D-Lamb back there. I believe it's got outside entertainment right there. I will check it out. Keep showing it. And look at the patio awning. I'm going to open that up. I like to look at it real quick.
Well, kind of one of those things I want to know now. I didn't check it out. Six gallon water heater there. Got some plug in here so you can pop your outside TV. It is. It is an outside entertainment. How about that? And you got your coaxial hookup so you can put your TV and tailgate out here. How about that? Uh, some more storage. And that's the pass through storage that we showed you earlier from the other side. That's your LP tank. I love this new paint. Well, it's a new paint, so it looks really nice. A uh, little more storage up here. Patio awning is in good shape. No tears or pinholes. It's a vinyl awning. Really good shape. Uh, speaking of this, look at the front. The other side is a little bit caulking needs to be put on the other side, but this thing is fine. It's got an entertainment center. It does not have windows. Most classy that leaks notoriously, they have windows front and the side. They leak from windows. Classies are known for that. Well, this one do not have windows. This is what you're going to love. This is about $2,000 of waterproof flooring. This nose strips cost a bunch of money. It, but we, we, when you put on this hardwood, uh, waterproof hardwood floors, you got to put this waterproof nose strips. Come on in. Got a one slide. Check this. Let me tell you what, 2000, we had someone traded in a 2017 Forest River, a Class C motorhome. Guess what? It had linoleum. So this is a 2004, but it's got a better flooring than a brand hammered new 2019 that they put cheap vinyl floor. This is a waterproof hardwood floors. So over here, got a little entertainment system. The previous owner who traded in it has a little sliding mechanism it comes out tv can turn either way it's, we don't get into tv much you can you can do all that it's got a little distribution center maybe some wire needs to be plugged in again we don't get into it you can have that yourself at weekend at home check it out here one person can sleep and we're talking about the water leak and stuff see they're all solid look at this all solid It, it needs a little huh, air nail on that little piece right there. But you can see it. All the walls are in really good shape. No previous water damage. All right, let me get on the cockpit area and show you all. Fires right up. 38,054 miles. Just turned 38,000 miles. Uh, we, by the way, we put new two brake calipers in the front and tuned the motorhome up. Runs great. It needed a brakes. When it came from uh, another dealership here, it was a trade-in. The brakes were like metal to metal, so we had to put new pads and new uh, calipers. So we did about, you know, about $1,000 worth of uh, maintenance, you know, new calipers, new brakes, tune-up. And then we did a floor, so we spent about three, three, three to $4,000 after we got it. Uh, that is a $4,000 gizmo. You can't even get that. Can you show that? It's an HWH hydraulic leveling jacks. So four lights represent the red light that four jacks are down. This is say, it says that it needs to be leveled on that side. Um, the backup monitor is one of those cheap eBay thing. I've never seen it, no signal. It just, it, it, it works sometime, but I have not seen nine out of 10 times it, does, it doesn't work. I have an uh, audio video guy. If you spend about 450 bucks, you can put a nice in-dash uh, backup monitor, uh, or you could do that on your own. Don't buy those wireless. They're junk from eBay. What you pay is what you get. Uh-oh, my thing fell off. Uh, a poster is in good shape, passenger and driver side. No rips or tears or any excessive wear. I mean, you know, it only has uh, 38,000 miles. So far looks good. It opens up, jackknife opens in the bed. Uh, we got all the books and records and manuals are right here. Remote controls, nice woodwork. Boot down it, falls down in the bed. A little bit of wear right here, okay. It's free of charge, you get that. So it'll have some stuff that I may not notice, but we, we do this video to show you some flaws. I love the floor. So floor goes under here too. There was a carpet back there and had a little bit of linoleum here. So we changed that. 
double door refrigerator, works on LP or electric, we'll have it cleaned up again. Boy, I think we had it on and then we leave it on, it's getting a little mildew. Convection oven, three burner gas stove, so it does not have traditional oven, he's got a convection oven, dual stainless steel sinks, some storage under there, uh, air conditioning, they're th uh, ducted throughout, air conditioning works good, doesn't it? Does it feel good? All right, we've got a little pantry in here, and there's a privacy door, that is the toilet door that opens up, and it locks into the place right here, if I can get it there. Well, I think our quarter round is blocking it, but that's where it hooks in. Uh, Stand-up shower, nice little skylight. Bedroom has a this window, what do you call a little privacy curtain. Over here we have a private toilet, a decent sized toilet with a sink and a counter space and a couple of cabinets up on top and a medicine cabinet here. By the way, we put hardwood floors there too. It had carpet. I think we'd turn a fan on and some little stuff fell here. <laughs> but we'll have it detailed again before someone comes picks it, picks it up or pick it up. Uh, nice little queen size class C bed. Has a little bit of a storage under there. Both sides you have a closet and you see all the walls are sturdy and strong. They're not any signs of water damage. This is a good motor home. I see the backup monitor is just hanging around here, that cable. Hmm. Okay. Walls are solid under here under the window and let's see on that side that is the passenger side that's where you saw most DLAM check it out nothing excessive I see maybe just a little bit of swelling going on here in the center but it's it's solid so if it's got a little bit of character you get it for free it's got a little LCD TV it's got a digital converter I mean, you could throw them out and get a nice one that folds up and down. I, I've seen people take this thing out and put a nice TV that swivel around. Imagination is yours. You can do any kind of upgrades you like or remodeling in here. But, you know, with a nice floor, 38,000 miles, new brakes, calipers, tune-up, generator runs. Generator has uh, 102 hours. Wow. I took a picture yesterday, 101 hours. And I was running it last night when I took pictures. So it is a trade-in motorhome, not a repossessed motorhome. Uh, we don't buy repossessed motorhome. It's got a slide out, sleep two, 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 seven, maybe six, seven people comfortably. A uh, 31 footer, easy to get in and out of a lot of national and state parks. We take trades, but being a 2004, if you have a beacon score around 650 or under, hard to get it financed unless you go through your own credit union. It's almost like you need to have 720 or above beacon score to get something like this finance. It's, it's going to be uh, just a little bit over retail, around retail. So please save yourself energy. Do not, please don't call me and offer me wholesale or tell me this is only the book allows. Well, uh, you need to call a book and see if you can find one old motorhome in this shape. Uh, those book values really don't count on this older motorhome. So, uh, we're going to ask reasonable price, having our low overhead uh, model we have. We do give good deals, and we check through stuff. And when you come here, we actually hand you uh, keys with the starter kit so you can go and camp from here. That doesn't mean you're never going to have trouble with this motorhome. If you think motorhoming is all fun and they never break down and you don't have to tinker it, do not buy one. Uh, those people probably laugh at it, but, you know. So, listen, if you never had a motorhome, get into it. It's a great adventure. You can travel regionally around your state or hit the road this summer go west uh just you know have a little toolbox with you and watch your temperature gauge gas gauge and you know uh hopefully you would never break down but it may happen uh but it's a lot of fun <laughs> uh i get going about rving you know uh, my number is 864-404-0054
That number is again, again is 864-404-0054. Or you could call Nicole at 864-569-5636. We prefer text communication. If you can't text, just leave us a voicemail. We'll get back to you. Thank you. Have a great day.